Hello. Um, I'm a bit late today, but uh, uh, not very much seems to be happening as far as I can see, except that Andrew Neil has finally told us that he's not going back to GBTV, all those, all those initials. Um, I, uh, in a way, who cares? Um, but in another way, I do find it so sad when somebody sets out to do something and then doesn't follow it through. I think we have a duty to follow through the things we commit to do, if at all possible. Um, but I, I, I sympathise with Andrew Neil because the channel isn't doing what he expected it to do, and it's gone down a slightly different route. Uh, what's interesting, looking at GBTV from the outside, is um, uh, it's, got, it, it's got, to my mind, one excellent reporter, Tom Harwood or something, uh, but it's also got, um, you know, even Nigel Farage is not succeeding. Um, he's losing an audience. I don't understand why. Or maybe I do understand why, because in the end, in the end, what you want is a variety of views. And I don't think that's what we're getting in GBTV. I don't actually think, for that matter, that's what we get on the BBC. We need that variety. The BBC is the national broadcaster, so it's always going to command interest. GBTV needs to carve out its own niche, and that's not with a bias. Uh, it should be with a commitment to greater um, examination of issues. It should be a sort of super Channel 4 news. Channel 4 has got small, uh, the Channel 4 news has got smaller and smaller and smaller, to the point where, again, it's just a pile of headlines. Who cares? What we want is some in-depth reporting. And I was hoping that was what we were going to get from GBTV. I don't think it is what we're getting. Um, and from that point of view, if Andrew Neil can't influence it, then maybe it's just as well, just as well that he walks away. But I am sorry. As I say, I think if you commit yourself to doing something, you should follow through. Um, do follow my channel. Do ring the bell. Back soon. Bye-bye.